Be a very good day to everyone. I'm a huge fan of beer, as you can tell. How many of you actually know that Singapore has a microbrewery? Today, we are in Beer Fest Brewery to explore what a microbrewery is like and how craft beer is actually made. Beer is one of the oldest beverages that humans have produced, dating as far back as 7,000 years ago in modern-day Iran. It's also been recorded in the written history of Egypt and Mesopotamia on pepper scrolls and clay tablets. Beer is made from four basic ingredients, barley, water, hops, and yeast. The basic idea is to extract the sugars from the barley so that the yeast can turn it into alcohol and CO2, creating beer. Today, the brewing industry is a global business and more than 133 billion liters are sold a year worldwide. That's about 50 bottles of beer for every single person on this earth right now. We're here with Sergey from Russia. He's the brewmaster here at Beer Fest Brewery. And we have Natalie who's going to be translating because Sergey doesn't speak English. So here we have the mold. This is the basic standard mold which is needed for actually each type of beer. Whichever type of beer you try to brew, First of all, you need this mold. Can I, can I like grab it? Uh, yes, of course you can. You can. Yeah, just dig in. For now, first of all, we need to soak the mold in water. After this, we are gonna bring it there and crush because to get the taste out from these small particles, we need to crush it. Sergey is saying that uh, in the 18th century, there was no such a crushing machine, so people were uh, crushing the mold manually. Now Sergey is going to check how the crushed mold looks like. So now we're going to bring everything into the brewery to start the brewing process. While we were doing the crushing of mold, Sergey at the same time started to boil some water in that big tank. After the water gets to the required temperature, he will add the mold to that water. We need to mix everything together well. Would you like to try? Yes, it's quite, it's quite hard. Oh. Yes, you need to put some power. Sergey is really strong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's like canoeing. He does it a lot better. So the mold is actually giving all its uh, ferments to water. Then uh, he will stop that meshing and uh, he will transfer the whole mixture from the boiling tank to the filtration tank to get rid of the mold because we don't need it anymore. So it just be the leftover, the water that has all the nutrients from the malt. Once all the mixture is in uh, this filtration tank, the water is going to come through. That's how the filtration happens. Here we are at the yeast lab. This is the tube with the yeast. For now, this yeast is kind of like sleeping yeast. Uh -huh. It's not active. We need to wake them up and let them multiply. So once uh, the yeast spends here like around 24 hours, uh, it's ready for it adding Add to, to the beer. The yes. So yeast will convert the sugar from the mash into alcohol. Science, bitch. We have the tank with the mm -hmm. yeast. So first of all, we... So like clean, so like clean yeah, the pipe? Yeah, clean the, clean the, the pipe. pipe. Okay. A little oh. bit. Gross. That's how the yeast looks like. Actually, uh, this is eatable. Some people believe it's very healthy to eat them. They eat yeast. And especially ladies, they eat yeast because it helps to fight acne, improve the skin quality. So it's like a beauty, super beauty product. Sergey will bring a spoon for you to try. Yeah, why not? I've always wanted to eat yeast. It's like the uh, the head, you know, the head of the beer, the foam. It's actually pretty nice. It's quite edible. How long do you need to ferment the yeast and the mash? Around two weeks. So once uh, the yeast is in the tank and we transfer the mash in here, uh, then uh, the fermentation starts and the sugar, with the help of the yeast, it falls into alcohol and CO2. So that's where the carbonation comes from. Uh, yes, right okay. here. That's why we have those uh, Right, that's bubbles. why it's fizzy and bubbly. So now we're going to try some fresh beer out of the tank. Because the tank uh, has a lot of CO2, yep. so we have a lot of foam coming yeah, yeah, from yeah. the tank. This is the dark beer. Stout. This is a Russian Imperial Stout. Okay, now we're going on to tank seven. This is Light Queen. We go on to the third tank. This is IPA. Indian Pale Ale. And you can see the difference. The foam color is again different. So you're welcome to start trying. If you start with the Light Queen. It's very fruity. Eh? This one is more like bitter. Yeah, in the pale, very bitter. A lot of flavor. Russian Imperial style, this is the strongest one. This should have more like a bread taste or a bread smell. It's quite smooth though, the Imperial style. Making beer is not as simple as it seems. Craft beer is a mix of art and science. Behind all the brewing and the fermenting, it takes more than two weeks just to create craft beer. Enjoy your beer just like my ex's heart, ice cold.
Mobil. 